All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's that time. We did an amazing summoning session on Nuisance's account, and he went ahead and said, hey, do you know what, John? You, since you are a free-to-play play, free play player, um, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to let you play on my account for a minute. Go ahead and build me up the Melia and see what you can do. So this video is going to be all about, well, a free-to-play player who I, I would say at this point I'm mediocrely developed as far as, uh, as, far as the game's concerned. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to build his Melia, we're going to e 3 her, and we're going to see how much damage we can do, because as of right now, he has not really used Melia, and she's not necessarily optimized with the gear properly for the guild boss. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to build it for guild boss, throw her in the composition, and see what she can do damage-wise on the guild boss. Uh, this is going to be a fun one. Hopefully, you enjoy it. Alright, so let's go ahead, and let's build out this melia let's see what we can do as a mediocre player maybe i can surprise you all we can make a hella good build here and really allow melia to do a lot of damage for him as well as uh maybe knock out some guild boss stuff now let's go ahead before we go ahead and start building i think it's best to always understand what and how the character works before you build the character right so if we look at valkyrie here valkyrie valkyrie melia transforms into valkyrie and gets all of her skills enhanced for three turns this effect cannot be removed and she gains one more action turn. So basically, once she pops Valkyrie, she's then in that state and she's then allowed to immediately go again, right? So at this point, what you can assume is off of turn one, she can go ahead and pop Valkyrie on auto, then she's gonna go to switch skills so let's, or skill switch. So let's go ahead and let's talk about that first before we talk about the rest of her normal kit, right? Because as you first use her, she's going to immediately go into this kit, right? So this is going to be her main primary kit. So let's see what it is. Um, we have Valkyrie, which is each stage of attack restores self HP by 5% of max HP when Melia attacks targets under HP burning status. Um, that's really good. So it's basically a self heal that's burned into if you get a, a burn on the opponent, which is very, very good, right? It's very helpful. Uh, then we talk about a second passive skill that she has, which is Melia is immune to control effects, and there is a 60% chance to counterattack when she takes direct damage, cannot be stacked with the buff counterattack. Now, this is a 60% chance to counterattack, which is amazing, as well as she cannot get control effects on her, which is, like, perfect, right? Like, getting control effects is a massive, thing, especially against other players in, uh, in dungeons. However, for guild boss, it's not going to make that much of a difference, but this counterattack will, right? Um, A2 here is a four turn cooldown, deals three stages of 200% attack damage to a single enemy with a 40% chance to inflict a layer of HP burning for two turns, uh, which then gets booked up to 70% chance, which is massive, right? That's a huge chance of HP burn. Um, and this is for two turns. This becomes a three turn cooldown skill. So that means you're gonna keep burning, stacking, stacking, stacking over and over again, which is amazing. It's definitely gonna help, right? Um, Moving on to A1, deals 200% attack damage to a single enemy with a 40% chance to inflict one layer of HP burning for two turns. Now, keep in mind, this is on her switch skills. So she's going to come in here and she's going to immediately go boom. And she's going to use this primary attack maybe twice, at which point then the A2 is going to be refreshed and she's going to come out of this and go back to her normal kit. Now, once she's e one that's going to be a different story because at that point, this Valkyrie is going to last for one more turn. So that means you're going to get essentially off a of skill switch you're going to proc two A2s and your A1s before you go back to your normal build, which is pretty good. That's a lot of damage. Now, when she goes back to normal, then we got to start thinking about, okay, what else she has? There's a 60% chance to inflict a layer of HP burning on the attacker for two turns when Melia takes direct damage. This is amazing, especially coming out of the Valkyrie state, because once you come out of Valkyrie, if they're not already dead, that means they're going to be next to no life. They're going to be attacking her, right? And then at that point, she can then do HP burning on them. Um, so once again, Everything that we're talking about now is she's doing damage, but mostly focusing a lot on her HP burning, right? Moving on here, we have deals two stages of a 200% attack to a single enemy, the 40% chance to inflict a layer of HP burning for two turns. Once again, that's going to go 70%. Not bad at all, right? Um, A1 here is just a single attacker. Not Nothing too flashy, but still a decent amount of damage. Once booked out, it's at 280% damage. Not bad whatsoever. Uh, with that being said, she is someone who's going to so much damage and counterattack, or er, and with counterattack. So really, she's going to be a direct damage focus. Now, HP burning being a dot damage takes damage by eight percent of max, max HP each turn before action when self is under HP burning status. The damage caps at thirty percent of the attacker's max HP and ignores defense. That's huge. So she really needs HP, right? Um, 
This isn't like attack scales higher with HP burning. It's actually HP that's going to scale. And it's the enemy's HP that really scales with this, right? So the more the stronger the enemy that's getting the burns, the more damage they take. So in this case, really, she just needs effect hit and then crit rate, right? So we're not looking at anything too complicated for a build. So really what we're looking for is we're looking for gear that is not so much. So we got first aid set. We have endurance. I think this is just random gear he probably slapped on that he had available. Obviously, we're not going to really want any of this particular gear. What we're going to be looking for is crit rate. We're going to be looking for crit rate. And we're also going to be looking for effect hit. Now, there's a few different options for those, those types of... Um, those types of builds, right? So we can go crit rate leech mastery because honestly, this would be a perfect set for her because she's putting dot damage, right? Uh, crit rate is a must have for her. Uh, the leech is a bonus, sure. It's not really needed. So when we're talking in game, Melia is not gonna necessarily go in this particular set other than that mastery is huge. And looking at mastery, so you have another one here where you have a mastery and effect hit at 20%. Now this could be potentially God tier for her Mainly because if we think about mastery and effect hit, how that works for her, that's going to give her an additional 20% to hit. Mastery does more dot damage, right? And at that point, you can focus primarily on just getting these stats with um, your crit rate, right? Because that's going to be huge. We do have some crit rate here, crit damage, HP rate, which is huge. Um, a little bit of speed here. Attack is not great. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we have a whole lot for crit rate here, which is a kind of a bummer. So let's go ahead and let's just filter all of his gear. Let's see what he has here for crit rate, because that's what we're really going to be looking for first. Let's look for crit rate, crit damage. See what pieces have it, right? Let's see what we have in general because of what we're going to be looking for. So if we go equipped in here, let's just show everything. Um, so we have a one fearless set with crit rate, crit damage with speed. That's huge. This is a really good piece here for what we're trying to do. Um, and it's on the correct set. We also have this one here, which is good, but no additional on crit rate, which is kind of a bummer. However, we can get HP and mastery. Not terrible. It's on Sigmund already, though. Um, we're probably not going to go for leech. We're really just going to be looking for crit rate. So we have attack crit rate here. Doesn't look like we have any Slayer that has crit rate, crit damage on it. And that's okay. It's not the end of the world. This is a really good crit rate, crit damage speed set for wild set, even though it's five star, which is kind of a meme. Um... This is also, oh my god, this is just this is GG for her. Like, oof. Okay, I like that set. I like the I like this one right here. That one's really sexy. I would take this to 16 just for just because. Let's see what he's got. Crit rate speed. So we want to try to play with the uh the sets if we can, right? Playing with the sets is always good. Nothing, nothing noticeable. That's unfortunate. So crit rate, we're kind of lacking when it comes to crit rate, guys. Um, Slayer set would be ideal, too. We only got one Slayer set. Oof. All right. Um, we're a little we're a little pigeon held on this one, guys. We're a little pigeon held on this one. Um, ooh. I'm still thinking, though, going crit rate, leech, mastery may be the best route to go for her, um, which then basically means she's going to get these two weapons, and, or this weapon and this amulet. And calling it good from there, as far as those two are concerned, it's still a little bummer. I would have would have liked to seen a little bit more than that on, on her. Let's go ahead and let's remove. Um, let's go ahead and remove the first aid set. Not a bad set. Not a bad set at all. This gives us thirty percent crit rate, thirty five percent crit rate here. So really, we definitely need more crit rate. Um, ideally, set. We're ideally looking for a set uh, with crit rate. So. That doesn't take up something else. Um, Jennifer's gonna get regressed here in a second anyway. So, what's she? Ha what does she have on her? Nothing. Oh, this this one's crit rate's good. That one's the speed is great, but that's not. Uh, that's not really what we're looking for. That's kind of unfortunate. Slayer would be the best option here. My personal opinion, I think Slayer is the way to go. Uh, for this one, I really do. Um, let's see if we turn this off. What do we have for Slayer? Do we have anything good? Anything else good for Slayer? Because what do we need? We need a chest and a boot. So we don't have a chest and a boot. Okay. I got a boot and a chest here. Oh, they're both tragic. This one's good, though. This is the good one, right? No. I mean, it's okay. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Boots are okay. Ah, so it's so so like what? I, not exactly what I want. 
Uh, yeah. Once HP mastery and effects hit if building for guild boss. Yeah, but she also does general damage as well. I'm still thinking if can I get away with doing a accuracy accuracy set here? Um I like this. I don't like that it's double healing effect though. That I don't like about it. What do we have? This one speed, attack, flat, and effect hit. Mastery and effect would be solid for her because she already has uh what is it? She's already has uh mastery is 22 currently. Um effect hit is at eight. So if she can get a little bit more um if we can get her a little bit more, that'd be great. And this has HP rate times two with crit rate crit damage. I think that I think that's the play. Let's just see what this does stat wise. So stat wise, we're looking at speed. She's a little slow. We got effect hit is thirty percent, which is solid. HP is low, but she's only E one. She's not even E one right now. Not even E one. So this is going to go up a lot when we upgrade her. When we take her to E three, and she ended up with a little bit of leech and decent mastery. So it's not terrible. It's not terrible because she's only, like I said, she's not even E1 yet. Or A1, sorry. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and we're going to regress. He said we can go ahead and regress Jennifer here. So let's go regress her. Um, so we can see what we get because that'll also give, um, that'll also give me chances to put more artifacts on her, right? So that'll be good. So let's see, what do we got here? What do we got? Uh, is there... Usually there's a regress event, not a regress event. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, how do I regress outside of that event? That's, oof, I've, I've never done this. I, I did it through the event, not through the, uh, was it bag? Is there is it a regress potion? Oh my God. <laughs> there it is. Because uh, here's the regress potion used. Okay. All right, so here we go. Um, boom. Now we can use it. Okay, now we can use it. So let's go ahead and regress. Um... <laughs> okay. Unlock. Um, boom. Pop you in there for now. Uh, defensive line and advanced arena. Okay. A cat. That's not going to be a good one to go in there. Put Melly in there. That, that'll be a good replacement. Okay. Because uh, she's going to get better. Sanctuary. Yeah, we're just going to remove her from that. Okay. Boom. All right, cool. So now we can regress her. So let's go ahead and regress Melia. Or, sorry, regress uh, Jennifer here. And we get all the skills back as well, which is huge. So we'll go ahead and regress. Boom. Done. All right all these so we could take her up again now he did say let's just go ahead and let's take melia to e3 for now he probably has a plan for what he wants to do with the other resources which is fine um but let's see what we can get her here once we take her up to um a3 right so we'll get one two boom actually he said nope go ahead and go up to a5 e3 okay so we're going we're going super hard here with Melia. Melia is getting cracked out of out of this one, ladies and gentlemen. So she's going to go straight up to A5, get all the skills. She's going a ham all day, every day. Let's go. Okay, four. And then last but not least, the last one. One, two, three, four, and five. Boom, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, there it is. And that's a 150 Melia. Let's go ahead and let's upgrade her to max level. Boom, there it is. Okay. Now let's start talking about. So we have emblems. Ooh, ooh, she already has her emblems too. That's dope. We'll be able to do a lot with her. We got her exclusive. Let's go ahead and let's get her locked exclusive here. Did I do the wrong one? Oh my God. Don't tell me I did the wrong one. Uh oh. Did the wrong one. 
This is, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't have two of them. Which one has skills? Thank God neither one of them have skills on. None of them have any work other than XP, which would have been nice to have used. Uh, that could have been bad. Lock your champions, guys. Lock your champions. Don't let Trigger Every John on your account without locking your champions. Uh, it's okay. A little XP lost. Not not that big of a deal. We'll go ahead and we'll swap it over to the other Melia, who's A5. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let's do that first. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. Uh, and what was that? That was mostly we had the uh, mastery effect hit. We had the accuracy, which was just the boots and the fur. Um, and then we had she had these on, right? Because she had the fearless. This is correct. Yeah. And boom, boom. Now, okay, there we go. And then now we're talking. Now we have other. We have these ones here, which is perfect. Um, let's go ahead and get crit rate on the crit rate one. So current crit rate is 32%. If I were to upgrade this for him and take her in with crit rate, that would put her at 50. Um, but we could also go mastery too, which would be huge as well. Okay, and we already have a 16 here. Okay, that could be dope right there. Um, it gets crit damage. Mastery goes up a significant amount. That might be good. We'll, we'll try that. Because um, we can always flip-flop one piece of gear for uh, to see what crit rate and mastery will do. We'll see that in one. Uh, attack is solid. Uh, other than, what can I get on these ones? I can get, effect, I can get uh, effect hit. So that's really what we want is effect hit for this one. I think we want that over HP or attack. Um... Kind of crappy though. I don't. I don't want to use. I don't know. I don't want to use all that resources. Even though it'd be pretty good. It is a six star. Getting the effect hit is going to be massive for her for doing this. Like, basically, that guarantees her effect hit and her mastery do a lot of damage, right? Um, and at that point, you know, you can beef up crit rate a little later. HP is already insane. I think we can take this to twelve. On defensive rate, yeah, okay, we'll take that. We'll take that for now because effect hit goes up to fifty-two percent, which is huge. That's really good. Mastery's at fifty-six. And then we come over here. Um, what do we? What can we get on this? We get speed on this one, right? Speed right now. Um, let's get at that one. Yo, stupid moose man coming in with a raid when we're building the champion. Appreciate you, brother. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, let's see. What do we got here? This one would be speed all day, every day. So let's go ahead and get speed. Um, for those of you who are tuning in from the raid from Sleepy Moose Man, appreciate you. Welcome in, welcome in. We are currently recording a YouTube video while we build Nuisance's Melia because we did pull him a dupe Melia tonight. Um, and we got really lucky on all the double summons for him. So we're going to head and we're, he's being, he said he wanted to be a little lazy, but I think he's just giving me free content for YouTube. So we're trying to see what we can come up with as far as builds are concerned. I like this for the crit rate. I don't like the double flat that I can see here. I almost would rather take this HP attack rate. I think I, I would. I think I'd rather take this one over this one. But simple fact, this already has two flats, and even though it's got crit rate on it, I don't think it's worth it. I think we take this one up to twelve because you got to go speed. Like that's not like that's like a no brainer. You go speed. Damn it, ran it. It landed flat attack, which is not what I wanted by any means. But it's still, I think, the better option because then our speed is cracked now. Yeah. All right, that's better, that's better. So HP, almost 180K HP, which is not bad. Speed's at 493, pretty good. Effect hit is 52, mastery is 56, healing effect is 18, so I don't care. Crit rate is at 37, which is unfortunate. It's a little low on the crit rate side of things, but at the end of the day, she's gonna do all of the burns in the world. Um, what do we have here? We have uh, aura for her. Do we have an aura that's really good for her as well? Um, Actually, I would think what's going to be the best aura for her, probably. Um, I don't know that we have a best aura available for, currently for him, for her. Um, campaign boost could be huge, but I don't think she really needs. I think I think we go more with like masteries. Mastery expert is probably best, best in the slot currently. Um, I think mastery expert aura is probably the best in the slot. Uh, saying ranged, ranged hit aura. Let's see what ranged hit aura is. That's the, 
Every enemy target increases self effect hit up, but oh, okay, I got you. So for yeah, yeah, that one's not bad. We could get this one. We can activate it. It's not terrible. It's really not terrible. Um, for mastery, right? Or effect hit. Um, let's go ahead. Let's take it because we may be able to play around and get some stats back. We may be able to lower effect hit without this. We'll see. Let's go you can upgrade this a little bit let's just get this up to like there we go we'll take this up to 12. that's pretty decent that's more than enough um we'll leave the we'll leave this alone because we don't know if it's gonna be permanent for this account we're gonna test it out a little bit this will give me a good idea the effect hit is really what i'm looking for um just not waste his resources on that but let's test that now emblems this is where we can have fun because he also has emblems done on melia um so this means we can do really good setup for her now we definitely want to take crit rate because we're definitely taking attack right we have to take attack here uh, we're gonna take crit rate we're gonna take grab that one now we got to figure out here on this side if we want to take um defense or support um i think the thing to note here is magic touch it would be great from the support side of things and then we also have just blue streak at the end here and i think there's one for dot damage uh somewhere in the support champ right um when inflicting a an attribute debuff okay um let's see magic touch i know is a is a massive one effect hit uh yeah there it is the rescuer is good um paralyze when i didn't attack yeah okay i think i think we go support and attack tree so i don't know that there's anything else in here that really is going to make the difference when it comes to effect hit and dot damage right i don't know if there's any other god tier dot damage one um at least not that one i'm aware of so i think it's just dot damage received sure but nothing okay yeah so support definitely support and we'll take effect hit here so then we'll lock in those two trees okay so then let's look at the next tree here so we got a healing effect shield effect and when self has shield damage uh that's the better one because she's Ooh, is she gonna play shield? She, I don't believe she plays the shield in Valkyrie, right? There's no shielding. There's just uh, straight up damage and HP burn, right? She's got a counterattack buff. Gotta keep that in mind. That she's always gonna rock. We gotta definitely keep that in mind because there is one that that's gonna be a buff one. But uh, yeah, shield wise, we're not gonna get that. I think that we go ahead and we take the healing enhancement because this one um, isn't always guaranteed. Mm. or you know what i think we go with shield and enhancement i think we do uh or, or no we just we'll, yeah we'll take a healing enhancement we'll take this one okay so i'm done uh when hp is full damage dealt we gotta take an unexpected attack um i am not a proponent for berserker blood i think this is bad to take i get the damage there I would rather see shield slam um mainly because gaining exposing yourself to that additional three percent extra damage just isn't worth it at the end of the day um you're still taking more damage so i think you go shield slam and that gives you more chance anyways against shields which is definitely something that's a pain in the ass um moving on what do we have from here we have practice makes perfect we have arrogance and last stand now at the start of each turn self dot damage dealt up to five times um so definitely has to have last stand, right? She's not damage dealer. She has to have that. That's like no question. For for the end of the first turn of each wave, direct damage dealt. Okay, so she's immediately doing damage regardless. Damage dealt in the next turn for every target kill. This effect cannot be stacked. Very good circumstantial though. Circumstantial. I think we take arrogant here just to guarantee us the damage every single wave. Because um, even then with this, it does go up to twelve percent. Sure. But you are guaranteed to have to get a kill to get this to affect proc. So let's go ahead and let's take arrogant. Then now we'll come over here. We have the rescuer, which is going to be a good one to pick for her. Um, and I think that's actually it. So that works out nicely. So before the end of the first turn of each wave, effect hit is up higher. Um, that's going to be super helpful for her. So definitely going to help. Um, when self has a buff, damage dealt it goes up. That's buffing is huge for target under. Control status is direct damage dealt. Okay, uh, for targets within a dot debuff dot damage dealt, that's no brainer for her, right? 
Uh, for allies under control effect, healing, shield effect, yep. Magic touch is the one we want here. We don't care about turn meter reduction. reduction. Uh, so let's see here. We want when self has a buff or for damage under control status. We do a counterattack. I don't think that's considered a buff. But chances are you're always going to be running melee with another support unit. So I think strength build up is going to be the better option in the long run. All right, moving on. We're almost done with all the trees here. Um, let's see here. When attacking target whose HP is higher than self, damage dealt. Uh, you have to take Berserker. No problem. No questions on that. When attacking targets whose HP is above 50% dot damage is more, right? Um, so I think this is the one to go with. Normally, I would say New Lisa on Life. When attacking targets with less than 50% HP, it's nice to finish them quick. But being as we're a dot damage dealer, I think we got to take weak point here. And then if we move over here to the right-hand side, we have for targets with lower speed than self, effect hit, goes up. When it's inflicting an attribute debuff, buff successfully, there is a um, increase the duration by one turn. Um, ooh. No, I don't think that's worth it. Uh, chance to remove one layer of non-controlled debuff from self at random at the end of each turn. Sacred Winds is pretty good. Sacred Winds is going to be great because it's an automatic. If you are frozen, if you are whatever the case may be, you could possibly re remove it and not waste your turn. Um, I think that's good. I think I think we'll take this one over. Yep, I think we'll take Sacred Winds. And then last but not least here, we have the last one. What are we going to go with? We can go with crit damage. We can go with mastery. Uh, we can go with healing effect or we can go with speed. In general, I think mastery is going to be a way to go with her, especially over crit damage, because you're going to be focusing mostly on burns for Melia. So let's go ahead and do a quick upgrade. We want to grab all that bad boy there. Let's go ahead and grab this one here. And then let's see. We'll utilize the last last of it right here. Boom. Done. Shakalaka. Melia has officially been emblemed as well. Um, he did say go ahead and take her to E3. So let's go ahead and let's E3 her very quickly. So that's O1 unlock. Uh, take that one out. My bad, bro. Okay. And we'll put her in. Okay. So that gives her guaranteed E1. Valkyrie status goes up, which is going to be huge. Boom. Not too much. Look at the HP attack and defensive rate. It's so massive. He did say E3 here. So let's go ahead and let's get it sorted. Let's E3 her. She's going to do so much damage on the guild boss. I just, I can't wait to see how much damage she does. Okay. Boom. Done. All right, um, we're good, we're good, we're good. Equipment, we're good here on equipment for her as well. Look at that HP, so broken on the HP. Effect hits, great, mastery is great. Oh my God, look at the mastery, 86%, let's go. Effect hit is super high, that's gonna be very helpful. Um, yeah, she's about to do some damage. All right, let's go, let's go test her out. Let's see, uh, let's see how well she does on, uh, you know what, we'll just use her against um, Guild Boss. Let's just fire up for Guild Boss really quickly. Let's see, did we get anything else that's broken? No? Okay. Dungeon, Guild Boss, we have three keys. Uh, let's see, should we do a four and see how much damage she could do on a four? I think we do. Um, let's see. Oh, we got a skill upgrader too, we got a skill upgrader. We gotta do skill upgrades. Just kidding. Skill upgrades. Boom. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. Oopsies. All right. Boom. If we can get her A2 and A3 done without... Damn it. I was saying... I had opened my big mouth. I was hoping that the uh, we would hit the uh, we wouldn't have to go all the way to the top on the A one. We did. That's unfortunate. Okay, so there we go. Now she's max skilled. Uh, good, 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 good. There. Now we need to slot, slot her back in the sanctuary. Um, uh, which means we want to grab her from here, right? Boom. Defense. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. There's that. Okay. Um, good, 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 good. Now we should be able to go and do guild boss. I think at this point we can go and do guild boss. Um, we gotta think though. So how much damage do we think she's gonna do on guild boss? That's the real question, right? That's gonna be the real question. Let's see. By challenge. 
Um, okay, he's saying it actually takes him three keys to do three. So let's go try three. Let's do three instead. So let's do that. That way we're not messing up his keys too awful much. We're going to slot Melia in. So I think we go Melia, Sigmund. Uh, Liz? This is interesting. So... Do I go Catherine? Space, Nordak, Gunner. I think, I think Catherine would be a good one to bring in with her. I think Catherine would be solid to bring in with uh, Melia. I think that's a good combo there with a lot of burns. Um, Gunner, obviously, is super good with burns, right? Um, Space, Catherine, Gunner, Melia, and the last one was up to you. Okay, I think we'll do that. We'll go... Um, so what's Nordak do? Nordak is just damage immunity, right? Yeah, he's got... Doesn't matter because we're only gonna get 20 turns out of it anyways. Okay. Okay. So let's go um, Gunner Catherine Melia uh, Catherine Melia Gunner Space All right, I think I think I'm gonna bring in I think I'm bringing Sigmund I think I bring in Sigmund here Saying check Nordak's passive. I mean, yeah, his passive is this as well. I get that. I know that if that's what you're getting at, which is huge, right? Um, but I think for this particular one, I'll do it with this one. Maybe later, if you want to try it with yours, another one you can. How is Sigmund ge geared? Is Sigmund get him geared for uh, effect hit, mastery effect. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he'll do a lot of damage. Cool. That's what I'm looking for. All right, so let's bring in Sigmund, and his skills are already maxed, so he's got plenty of burns, counterattack. Okay, cool. We're just going to constantly do a crap load of burns. Um, may actually, it may be too much. This may not be the best squad. We'll see what, we'll see what we get here, though. This would be awesome for a, a perfect example for building Milia. This is how I would use her if I had her in my own. Um, I'm autoing this. Okay. So we're already at five. Okay. All right, a crap load of HP burns. We're at 6.5 million, uh, 6.8. <laughs> the Jesus. Um, I think I started too low, guys. I think I started too low. Um, oops. We're five turns in and 11 million damage. That's pretty good. That's pretty good with this. But, but we're look at that the debuffs, the constant debuffs, um, the constant counterattack, too. I mean, we've had counterattack up pretty consistently this fight as far as uh, what we could do from our counterattackers, right? Um, like there it goes. I could probably actually, it could have been offset and been even better, which would have been helpful, but uh, it's fine. Um, but yeah, we're, <laughs> we're fucking killing it right now, guys. This is awesome. Melia with the, with the dub, but I think it really comes down to, I mean, when we look at it, we're doing so much damage here because we are never, like, he's never coming off of HP burn, right? So he's constantly getting, uh, some sort of, uh, debuff. Why can't I pull this up? Thank you. He's got two turns left on the, on the current one, right? Um, but it's five, a stack of five already. Like, it just stays stack of five. So it's like always doing the damage we could almost breed it i don't know like maybe another bleeder would be perfect here um i could probably take out i don't know we, we may actually we could have maybe taken out space here for another you know, bleed damage dealer and would have been different like maybe uh yeah uh, you just mentioned reeves in the chat i think reeves would be a perfect one to slot in here with this combination um he would do constant damage for this one even more damage more so because we're at yeah 16 turns 36 million damage we're not taking a whole lot of damage either um yeah 
We are killing it, as they say in the game. All right, this is definitely a good showcase for Melia. Like, this literally, he said this was a two-key before, and we're going to be... I mean, I think I think we're damn near there for uh, one almost one key. We're gonna be short. We're gonna be short, right? Isn't it? Is it forty five or forty or is it fifty? Is it forty five? Yeah. So we didn't one key it. It's okay. Almost. It's it's thirty. Oh, it's thirty mil. We said it's thirty mil. Never mind. It's thirty mil. We went fifteen over. Uh, so we we really are. We're we're at level four here. We're at, we're really at level four. Uh, but that was a massive showcase. So he said this was a two key before. Now this is a one key and then some. Um, and I think he could have tweaked it. Like I think if we were to go back in here, if you if we tweak, take probably take out maybe take out space here, slot in. Um, he mentioned building up a Reeves, which I know we now know he can get a super powerful Reeves, right? Because um, he's got duplicates of Reeves now. Uh, this could be a possible, good, really good one to put in there as well for in places of maybe space. Uh, but either way, massive there. Uh, that was huge gains. Uh, just off building Melia. Um, let's see. That's that's really, really good. Now, let's see. What other spot would be a good one to test around? And maybe in uh, Faction Towers. Let's go see if uh, maybe that makes a difference. Um, it may make a slight difference for her. Let's see. Tower Marks. Fa Force Faction. He's stuck on 22. Does Melia get him that on... Uh... Ooh... Probably not. This is probably a fail. But let's just try it just for funsies for him to see what we get. Um, maybe maybe this will beat it for him with putting in Melia now. Uh, now that she's nice and super solid. Um, but we'll see. This is actually where I think I'm stuck on the same exact spot on my free-to-play account. So we may not beat this one as it is. And that's okay if we don't. Uh, not, that, not that big of a deal. But uh, very interesting all the same. Let's see so far so good we're a wave two that was unfortunate already but i kind of knew he'd fall off right he didn't have a lot of stats to begin with he was not using a three or better we have two a threes two a fives in the squad so it's we got we got a little bit sustained uh that also means that for my free to play i'm kind of hosed because i need a lot more uh a lot higher a threes or a twos and, it, and it, like you know what i mean like i need more awakenings on my free to play to, to make this worth it oh nice uh, he, the, the res there perfect okay let's go ahead and keep going um generally speaking she's super hard, like you gotta take her out super quick um and then as soon as you take her out then you're kind of a little bit better melia is gonna die soon though so it's gonna be unfortunate we already lost uh okay we lost our healer which is definitely unfortunate the burns though those burns did you see those burns get stacked so hardcore like it was literally Oh, look at those burns. Oh, man. That was... Okay, th this one could, with some tweaking has potential. That one may have potential with some tweaking. But yeah, overall, Melia, solid. Definitely solid for the account. Uh, it's fun to build. Uh, it was fun to go from like mediocre to hero. I'm interested to see. He may actually hop on his account, totally change this build, and pull out more damage. I'd love to see it. Um, always love to see that because then it's just more fun, right? Uh, but thank you so much, Nuisance, for letting me play on your account for building your Melia. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. And uh, getting to show that those nice juicy numbers on the guild boss. Hopefully you can punch up and really do a number on it. But yeah, guys, that's going to be Melia at A5 E3. Thank you, Nuisance, for letting me use your account. That's going to do it for me this video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.